pressure to expose the lies he claims the government is hiding from the American people, and he says there's already plenty of shady business brewing with the next presidential election. Please welcome back the author of 63 Documents the Government Doesn't Want You to Read, former Governor Jesse Ventura. Welcome back. Yeah. I spent the weekend with it, and we want to get to some of that. But I want to get to some things you recently said. One being that if Representative Congressman, Republican Congressman Ron Paul runs, that you would be his running mate? No, I said I would give it serious consideration. Okay. That still leaves me a way out if I want to continue living in the Baja. <laughs> you, why, why do you want to be, why would you even consider that? Because, he, because I think he is the only true elected official at the federal level that puts the people of America first and not the political parties first. So it's important that he's an independent then? Well, I guess, you know, I rethought that and thought, well, maybe if he ran as, the, as a Republican, it would cause trouble if he picked an independent like me to be VP, wouldn't it? Has he expressed interest? He's coming here in a couple of weeks. We uh, might ask he, him. Yeah, he, I, apparently he was on Alex Jones's radio show and said he found it very intriguing and that it wasn't out of the question. But the so. two of you haven't talked yet about it. No, not directly. But you realize no, no. that he is not pro-choice, Ron Paul. I understand that, yeah. and I am. But that's one thing I'll set aside because that's just one issue. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to look at the big picture of what he stands for. He wants to audit the Federal Reserve. Mm -hmm. So do I. Mm -hmm. You know, they're the people that make all the money in the world. So guess who really runs our government, people? It's those with the money that run it. So well, when you elect people, they don't really run the country. In this country now, the Federal Reserve runs our country. He wants to get rid of Homeland Security, though. Just you, uh, so do I. You also I said call that Homeland Security the Gestapo. And what would you put in its place? Really? They're actually... Well, they, I've today. run into trouble with them already myself. You know, I have a pending lawsuit against Homeland Security and, and the TSA. Well, I have metal in my body. Mm -hmm. So when I pass through the metal detector, I can go through naked. It's going to go off. Mm -hmm. So I'm now subjected to a sexual assault or the microwave. Oh, and if you're flying three to four times a week, you're not going to convince me that that microwave is safe. Right. They have uh, no proof. So you say it's your choice to fly, right? Well, certainly it's my choice to fly, but uh, likewise, I would challenge and say uh, what my suit is over is the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution, reasonable search and seizure, and I'm stating that it is not reasonable to believe Jesse Ventura is a threat. I've been a governor, I've been a mayor. Do so you believe in profiling? Wait a minute, I'm a six-time or a six-year naval veteran, and the Speaker of the House isn't subjected to it. I challenge, is John Boehner any more patriotic than me? I went in the alarms. service, so is mine. That's a, that's a dangerous statement, though, because it does lead to profiling in a way, correct, right? I just want to ask a question because I, I you, uh, there are a lot of things in that book and a lot to put into our minds. My question is, what do we do about it? With all this information that you have now presented us with, what do we do? Because, you know, I, I don't know what to do. We just first, talk. First thing, let me state this. Did you know last year, last year alone, the government classified 16 million documents top secret? We're not allowed to read them. And I challenge saying I'm allowed to read everything. You wanna know why? I pay taxes. And my tax dollars are being spent on some pretty crazy stuff you're gonna find out in what this book. And we have every right to know what they're spending your tax dollars on because it's our money. You know, and, okay, you're speaking of these documents that are classified, let's talk about some of these documents in your book. This is the one that, that really fascinated me. You claim that our military can take over the country at any time, that they have the capacity to set up relocation camps. Yes. So does and that I'm mean... not claiming it, it's in the documents. Okay. I this don't claim the, anything. This is Read what you're saying there in the documents. Okay. Yourself. Are you saying that American citizens, that we could be in uh, modern day concentration camps? Absolutely. My show, Conspiracy Theory, we did the one on are we in a police state. The government came down so hard, they pulled it after one airing. You can't see it now. Excuse me, isn't that censorship? And it's because we found a bill from Homeland Security that says FEMA will create no less than six internment camps. For whom? 
Aren't you Who do they plan think, on putting in there? Aren't you then creating some sort of fear well, in terms of our military? Before, though, in this country. You know, we've done that more than once in this country, sure. created well, internment it, camps. I don't want for, it to happen again. For what people we consider to be threats. The Japanese were one. And it might you know. be me now. It I could be, be going in now you because, you know, I be question anybody. my government. You do question the government. Absolutely. You know what's interesting what is that being shut down this week. That's really on the table this week. What do yeah. you think about well, tomorrow. that? I really yeah. don't know. You know, maybe it'd be kind of nice to shut them down for a while. I think it would be. I don't know if you're on Social Security or you need a no, job or you're on food stamps. Well, you're again, not going to like it Again, very much. let's remember what you got out there. Right. You got a two party dictatorship. Both of these parties are controlled by the corporations right. who pay their money. That I believe. And so, sure. so, you know, there is no real choice. So, Notice Barack Obama ran on hope we can believe or change we can believe in. Where's the change? And then reality struck. Where is it? So, <laughs> so here's my question again, because the, you point out lots of, lots of information, lots of people agree. What do the American people do about it? Because that's what I want to know. Who do we call? Do we no. get up and protest? Do no, we no, pee no. on the lawn? What do we do? It's as, cle it's as clear as the nose on your face, but you can't see the forest for the trees. What you do is simple. Stop voting for Democrats and Republicans. We have to break the two-party dictatorship, and we have the power to do it. Quit voting for them. Well, they don't give you a viable party. Why do you have to be third party? Vote for anyone but them. Send the message. I think we're Send away from the that. message. If we're you're such lemmings, well, of course we are, because yeah. we're a bunch of lemmings. Mm -hmm. We're getting marched off the cliff, and nobody looks left or right. Except you're during Jesse. the march. Well, well, Jesse's well looking. I live in Mexico now. <laughs> so, and by the way, I'll add, my wife yeah. and I, I think, are going to attempt to become Mexican citizens. Wow. And it isn't that I don't give up my U.S. citizenship. We want dual citizenship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, like we that. wish you well with that. Our thanks to Jesse Ventura. Hey, members of our studio audience are going home with a copy of 63 documents the government doesn't want you to read, but he does.